Yeah, 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 I need you to share this video, share this video. Is it going to be Peter or B? Is it going to be Atiku? Is it going to be uh, Jagaban or Gatinubu? Is it going to be Shogure? Is it going to be any of these guys? I want you to share this video. Listen to my message. Share this video. Show some love. Share this video. Yes, 2015 election, the presidential election, we were shouting that Nigeria should wake up. That the decision that you make that year will determine what will befall Nigeria moving forward. Nigeria made their choice. They choose Muhammad Buhari either by winning or whatever they did. Now we are in 2023. What I will tell Nigerians is to listen to the messages that the aspirants are putting out. Choose the right person who is sending the message, the language that you know that will help your children, that will help your life, that will help the future of Nigeria. Not just someone that think they own the country or they own that power to themselves. Listen to people's messages. Make the right choice because we will still say, I personally will say it once again, that the choices or the choice that you make today will be the future of Nigeria and we determine if that country will crash or will remain. So I would say that we should choose right. Every man, every woman, everybody should start thinking right. Not think about their pockets alone, but think about the future of your children. Think about the future of your grandchildren. Think about the future of your generations and generations to come after you. I said it in one of my videos. I saw a little child, a girl, a little young girl, carrying a poster around her telling the government that we want to go back to school and this was a battle that your fathers before this battle they didn't win I am fighting the battle now I am calling that people should go back to school that government should do something they should cooperate with us that things should go right in the country because the battle that we don't fight right that we don't finish surely your children children they will fight that battle and we see it happening all over again all over again, we see her children, her kids, young lady moving around the streets with, 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 with cardboard that they want to go back to school. And I will still say it today that the choice, that person that you choose to be your president in 2023 will determine the future of your children. If he is not taken, if some people might have their way, you might have that money to fly your children out of Nigeria to go to the United States. But remember, there are destinies that are still in your country, in Nigeria. And you should be, you, you should be one of those that, that God has chosen. You should be one of those people that, well, that, 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 that you have it in your mind that you want to make a difference, you want to do something different for your country. It doesn't look like it right now. It doesn't look like Nigeria is going to get up. It doesn't look as if things will get better. But then right in our mind, we might start to see it in our mind, in our imaginations, try to imagine good things for the country, believing that whoever is coming right now, will do something great. So listen to their messages, listen to what comes out of your mouth. Listen to what comes out of your mouth and choose the right leader for the country. Choose the right number one for the country. Don't choose because of your pocket. Don't choose because of that 1,000, 5,000, 10,000 that you will get today because it's not going to take you anywhere. That will be a slap on Nigeria face. That will be a slap on all our faces. I pray that we will not make any mistake this time around. The mistake has been done and it's good to trust someone. Many people trust this government, but then the government failed them. Hey, the government failed them. Things happen. But if you make your choice today, in your heart you will know that you choose right. You choose right. Make your choice today. Who is sending a good message? Who is sending a message that you know that is coming right from their heart? It's hard to know. But then, I pray that God will direct you to choose right. To choose right. We have people that have been doing it, they've been doing it, and nothing come out of them. Do you want something new, or you want to continue with what you have already? Depend on what you want. But we urge you to choose right because that country is that our country is burning. It's burning, the country is hard, is hungry, hungry for the right leader. Someone that will do something great for the country, that will bring the children out of slavery because uh, it looks like there's uh, there's uh, the slavery, the slavery time have ended, but then we are modern day slavery in that country. So it's time to get out of slavery because now we have a slavery mentality. Since people are not thinking right anymore. And the future of that country will depend on you, what you do today. So you can make your choice. 
what is it that you want it to be like? Do you want to keep doing the same thing and expect a different result? Or you want to do something different and get a new result? I believe in trying something new. I believe in doing something different because what you've been doing all over and all over and all over the years, if it's not working and you still stay in the same attitude, doing the same thing all over again and there's no result, then you must be thinking maybe you're doing something wrong. Maybe you need to look forward to do something next. And that's what I think Nigeria needs right now to do something new, to have something new, to do something different. And maybe that will take Nigeria to where Nigeria is supposed to be. All right, that's my message this evening. And I hope that Nigeria will listen and will begin to take our destiny into our own hands, begin to think right so that we can choose right. God bless you. God bless Nigeria.